Hello Stampers! How are you doing today? I have a another video for you. It's Make It Monday video. I'm actually out of town so I'm pre-recording this and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful card. We're going to watercolor and this is called the spotlight technique. We're using stays on ink. I'm going to show you how to clean your stamps after you use stays on ink because there is uh, some there are some special things you need to do with it and this is the card we're going to make isn't that pretty there's the inside and the envelope and we are going to use watercolor pencils uh, for this too so let's get started my name is linda edwards i'm with crafty here and designs and i am an independent stampin up demonstrator i hold card classes in my home and I also participate in some online card classes. There's something for everyone here at Crafty Hair and Designs. So our, uh, our materials for this card we're gonna use today, I've got a basic black cardstock. It's cut at eight and a half by five and a half, and it is scored at five and a quarter. And then you need two pieces this is Granny Apple Green, and it is cut at five, they are cut at five and a quarter by four. Two pieces of your basic white, five inches by three quarter inches, and an envelope. And you do need a scrap of black. This is the scrap, I have already die cut this. I'm using the circle dies, the stitched, uh, new, excuse me, the um, layering circle dies, and these are retiring, so by the time you see this, um, on Monday, May 3rd, that'll be the last day you can order these dies if you don't have them. But you can use something else to, to create this scallop, and this is just a, a piece of um, black cardstock, and it's about uh, th one and three quarter inches in diameter. So here, let's get started. So that's those are your materials. So of course, the first thing we'll do is we'll take our card base, and get it nice and flat. And then we are gonna start with our stamping. Uh, let's see, so the um, inside we are gonna stamp, I'm gonna get a piece of scrap here because I am going to go off the, um, off the corner a little bit with this stamp. So um, I am using stays on ink because I'm going to be doing some water coloring. Stays on uh, will not run with the water coloring. So that's why I'm using the stays on. And this stamp is from the ornate style stamp set. It really is a beautiful, big, bold stamp set. You can do so many different things with it. You can watercolor the whole thing. You can get parts of it. It is a big, bold, beautiful stamp set. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do with this stamp set, let's see, I want it this way, and I'm gonna leave some room for my sentiment. So this is gonna be the very top of my card. So let's press that down, make sure, give it a little few minutes to absorb into the cardstock. And there we go. All right. And then the sentiment is thank you. The sentiment is from the Happy Thoughts stamp set. This one is retiring as well. Beautiful stamp set. Love the sentiments. And the big bold font on that. Okay, so that's the first one. And now for the inside, I'm gonna use that same stamp, also with the stays on, although it wouldn't be critical that you use stays on with this because we're not doing any water coloring on the inside. But certainly you could, you know, there's no reason why you couldn't go ahead and watercolor. And I'm gonna just kind of put this off to the side. Let's see, what do I want to do here? I think I'm gonna do it like this. I just want a little bit of that to be visible on the inside of my card. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Now you can see there's a little bit that I missed there. I could come back with the um, with a fine tip magic marker and fill that in or our black um, Stampin' Write marker. 
and fill that in a little bit. But I don't think it's so, it's so small, you're not gonna hardly even notice it. And then I'm gonna also do this corner on my envelope. Gotta give your envelopes some love as well. Oh, now see that one I am gonna come back and fill in. I think it's because, you know, on the envelopes you've got the flap there, so it didn't quite, didn't quite cover it all, but that's okay. We can fix that. Okay, so now let me show you how you need to clean. There's a special way to clean your stays on stamps. Close up my ink pad. Make sure I don't get, make a mess out of it. Okay, so I have a Stampin' Scrubber. This is not a Stampin' Up Stampin' Scrubber, but um, I've had it for a long time. And you will need some kind of a stamp and scrubber. This is um, stays on cleaner. It is a special cleaner specifically for stays on ink. And you just basically rub this all around the stamp. You see why I wanted to do all my stamping at one time. And then um, you just rub it on this cleaner and this or on this stamp pad. You can see that it gets all that ink off. On the Stampin' Scrub that Stampin' Up has, there's, they have a wet side and a dry side. So this is has just one side, so I'll have to clean that out when I'm done. But I'm also going to see how black that is. And it'll clean it up. And I will go ahead and get some of that off of there. And I'll give it a good clean when I'm done. I'm actually going to also come in with the Stampin' Mist and clean up the stamp afterwards. Now, the Stampin' Mist is what we use to clean any of the red rubber stamps. It's also available from Stampin' Up. This is the Stampin' Mist rubber stamp cleaner. And, of course, we also use the, um, uh, the purple scrubber, right? And that will also work. But before I do that, I want to make sure I get some of that cleaner off of there. So a little more involved, what stays on. But you know, that stays on ink is really good for a lot of different things. There we go. Look at that. Nice and clean. I'm not going to make you watch me clean the big one, but I wanted to show you how clean you can get that. Um, if you don't, you really do get uh, staining on your stamp, which, you know, isn't horrible. But we don't. We'd like our stamps to be pretty. We don't want them to be to be stained. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the inside of the card, and then we'll get to the really good stuff. So the first thing I'm gonna do, oh my goodness, I don't have my glue here. How could that be? Hold on. Now my stamp room isn't that. Oh, there it is. Isn't that messy that I could lose my glue? Can you believe that? Does that happen to you? Oh my goodness. Set it down and move aside and Lord only knows where it ends up, right? Okay, so one layer of this granny apple green. Use the adhesive of your choice. And here is the inside layer. I do, my, my adhesive of preference is this green glue, but whatever you're comfortable with. You know, I find that people have develop a preference and whatever works for you is perfect. Okay, inside of our card is done. I am gonna go ahead and put this layer on the outside of my card. Ah, got the dropsies today. Go. And we're gonna get to the good stuff. All right, so that is done for now. So now the spotlight technique is really fun. All we're gonna do is now we've got this uh, one and a half inch circle punch. You could certainly use a circle die, but I find that you know, the punch is really easy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spotlight. I'm gonna actually punch a I think we'll go this way. A hole in my card, and I'm kind of watching, okay, where do I want 
you know, what do I want to, to see? Let's see, that way, kind of go all the way around here. I think I'm gonna use this one. Right, maybe right there. Okay, there we go. That's gonna be my spotlight. And now I am just going to color with my markers. So I did the inside, the background is green because that is the background that I have on my paper. So I find that if I color with the background first, then I can see where the flowers start and end because all those petals are a little difficult to see, right? And I'm really just coloring this in all of the green and then in between here and here. That's it, uh, a little bit here. All right, then I think this one's gonna be the rich razzleberry. So I'm gonna start just very simple, not being too precise, just getting color on there. And then I'm gonna come back and darken. I'll show you how I'm gonna get some shading and shadows. Um, you do have to kind of work with your pencils a little bit, make sure that they're not too sharp. It's kind of nice if they're a little bit worn down. And just kind of fill them in. And of course, this is watercoloring, so we are gonna come in and do and uh, apply a little bit of water, so it's gonna give it a little, little more color. So then I'm gonna go and use all these little spots that Stampin' Up! puts on their, on their um, stamp, the, the dark kind of, accents right do a little bit of that can you see how that's a little bit darker just going to give it a little bit of depth just real quickly and then i'm going to also kind of come in where the petals overlap and create a little more depth there and as you can see i'm not really being super super precise just kind of giving it a little more depth in there and, you know, it's easier to kind of turn the paper as I go around rather than trying to turn my hand, right? So it's always easier to turn the paper. There we go. There's the, there's the purple. All right. So then I think I'm going to use this as a Calypso Coral, all these little daisy-like flowers. Aren't they pretty? Here we go. Just a little bit of color in there and and I'm going to use some rhinestones in the center so I'm not even going to worry about that but I am going to try and highlight those marks that are there and again a little bit of depth where there's some overlap all right and now some pink here and here and they are almost done coloring is so relaxing don't you think I really when I was young I did a lot of coloring as a as a, as a girl oh my goodness did so much coloring so I guess it's not a surprise that here I am working again All right, so now I'm gonna use the watercolors. Now we have three, or excuse me, water painters. There are three different sizes of water painters, and I wanna use the smallest one. Now these are kind of um, unusual in that they, they unscrew backwards. You normally, it would be toward you, it's actually against you. And you, the way these work is you just open them up, you fill it up with water. Of course, I've already got water in there, and then see, I wanna turn it that way. Um, you turn it toward you. And I do have a, a little 
paper towel here and I'm just squeezing that. You see how that dip, that water just came out like that? Just That's all I need is a little bit of water. So I'm gonna start with the lightest color first. So this orange is a pretty light color. And I'm just really going on and adding some water, smoothing out that water, those watercolors. Looks like I need to get a little bit of green in that little corner there. I missed that spot. Add that, there we go. Okay, so that's the uh, Calypso Coral. And I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna come in and pink, same thing. Just add a little bit of water. It just smooths out the, uh, the watercolor pencil, the color just gives it a nice smooth touch. All right, I'm gonna do the green next. And I think this is the one you can really see the most, how it really just adds a nice depth to the color. There we go. All right, last one is this rich razzleberry. There, oh yeah, you can see it there, can't you? Oh, I hope you can see this. This is so pretty. It really just brings that color to life and I'm just trying not to go into the other colors, trying to keep my colors true. I don't really care if I go over my table a little bit, but there we go. Okay, so pretty, oh my goodness, that's it. That's it, and I just wiped that right on my towel. There's oh, a little bit of ink. I just basically clean that, just run water through it until it, it's not making any marks on my paper towel. And then I'm done. Put that away. Okay, can you believe it? We are almost done. Okay, now I'm gonna attach this card front to my card base. Again, just use my liquid glue. I'm letting, given that uh, watercolor paper, it's not even watercolor paper, it's just regular uh, basic white cardstock. All right, if I was doing a, a larger piece, I probably would, would use watercolor paper, but because it's such a small piece, it doesn't, it's not a problem. Okay, put that layer on. That's just about dry. I'm gonna put that layer, just glue that layer to the black background. And then I'm gonna pop that whole thing up. And that's our spotlight. There we go. Okay, dimensionals. Okay, now, the moment of truth. Now I have to kind of line this up so that it meets, right? See that? So I kind of look, line that up, take my dimensionals off. It's a little easier to line it when it's got those stems, right? Because I can really see right where they're going. And just kind of checking all the way around. Let me see here. All the way around. Yep. All right. Ta-da! Isn't that pretty? Just love that. Just love it. And there's the inside. And then I'm going to show you all I'm going to do for this envelope. See how I messed that up a little bit? I'm just going to grab my Stampin' Write marker. You know, you could really just use a, a uh, any permanent black ink marker. And what I'm doing here is I wanna see what it looks like, right? I'm looking at this one, cause it, I really did miss that, but it's really straightforward. I mean, it really is just a line that's gonna come down here and a little bit right there. And it's not, I'm really, that's it. Can you believe that? So simple. So black is always, it's in, always, I, I carry a black 
marker with me wherever I go. If I go to somewhere to do a stamp stamp camp or you know go to somebody's house and stamp, I always have one of these in my um, in my toolkit because you just you know we stamp with black so often, especially sentiments, that it's just really handy to to have it with you at all times. All right, last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some champagne rhinestones and we are gonna add those to the front of that card. Use my little take your pick tool. There we go, it's so pretty. Aww. Isn't that nice? So pretty. And that's it. That's our card. So I hope you liked my little video today. If you did, please comment, uh, like, and follow me. Um, I will also have this video on YouTube. If you are following me there, would love for you to subscribe to my channel, my Facebook channel, my YouTube channel so that you get a notice of when I come up with um, another video. And um, I'm here Monday mornings, Make It Monday, and certainly I most often I am live, and if not, I will have something for you to see. So that is the spotlight technique. Stamping up materials, and there's the inside. I thank you for stamping with me. Hope to see you soon. Bye.